Hi everyone, this is Smita from Assembly AI and in this video we're going to be looking at how we can convert text to video in just a few lines of code in Python. So let's get started. For this tutorial, we're going to be making use of the demo VLAB model, which is created by ModelScope. And this model essentially converts text to video using a diffusion model. I'm going to explain how this model works, but before that, let's actually jump into Google Colab and download this model to start running it. Once you've opened a file in Google Colab, this is where we'll be writing all our code. It's going to be very simple. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we are using GPU resources because we need that to run this model. So the first thing you want to do is click on runtime and click on change runtime type and just ensure that you have selected GPU and click save. Once we have done that, we can start writing the code to actually download this model and set it up. The first thing we're going to be doing is installing three different Python libraries that we need. The first thing is diffusers, transformers, and accelerate. So that's what we're going to be doing. So pip install diffusers, transformers, and accelerate. Once you have written this command, let's run this to download all of these models. Next, we want to write some import statements to import different libraries that we need. So the first thing is torch. And then we want to create a pipeline of how this will all play out. So create pipe equals to Diffusion pipeline dot from free trained and we can actually go back here and copy the name of this entire model and we're going to paste it right here. So in this code, what we're doing is we're importing Torch, we're importing Diffusers. Diffusers is a library which helps to do diffusion. And in the context of generative models such as this, what diffusion actually helps us with is generating videos from noise. So from Gaussian noise, we are trying to generate some sort of video or output, and it works alongside the model as well in order to do this. And we're going to create a pipeline of all of this along with the pre-trained demo VLAB model, which we have installed. And once we've done all of that, we can go and hit run. If you're downloading this for the first time, it's going to take a little bit of time. And while you wait for that to download, let's actually go back to the model page and let's take a deep dive into exactly how this model works. So first off, the demo VLAB text to diffusion model operates in three separate stages. First off, we have a text feature extraction model, which means that the model takes in the text input that we give it and then extracts its core meaning to understand exactly what we're looking for in the video. Next is the text feature to video latent space diffusion model. And this phase actually bridges the gap between the text information that we have and also the videos. So it actually is creating an abstract definition of what a potential video output can be. So in this stage, the video has not been created, but it's just trying to get an idea of what type of video we can be creating. In the final step, we have the video latent space. To, so what this means is that the abstract representation, which was created in that second stage, actually turns into a real video and this video generation starts from your Gaussian noise and essentially that refers to something like white noise and this final stage actually takes this Gaussian noise and turns it into a final video. Now let's hop back into Google Colab and actually give it the prompt to create a video. So we're going to do prompt equals to Spider-Man is surfing. So a video of Spider-Man surfing. And we have to set some parameters such as the video frames, number of inference steps to 25. 
if you increase the number of inference steps, that will increase the compute time as well. So in the very first line, we give it the prompt and next we're creating something called video frames, which is a pipeline, which includes our prompt. And also we define the number of inference steps that we want, which we set it to 25. Uh, we also define the video path. So where exactly are we planning to export it to? And then uh, we, we create the video name, which, which ensures that this video will be created in a folder called TMP, which exists right here. And we're also printing out the video name so we know what, what the name of the video will be, the output video. And finally, what we're doing is we're actually emptying the cache of uh, the Torch CUDAs because we obviously don't want it to be blocked up in, in case we're running multiple prompts. Once you've done that, let's hit run. Once it has generated this video, you get an output of the name. So we can go into folders. click on TMP and you should see it right here. And you can actually download this into your local machine. And this is the video in my local machine. And this video only plays with the VLC player. So make sure that you have that as well. And there we have this video. It's a very short video, as you can see, and it's not super high quality, but this is a great starting point for generative AI and being able to actually create videos directly from text. And this is an awesome starting point. So feel free to check this out. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Let us know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below and like and subscribe for more amazing AI content.